Hello and welcome to this video on SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS WIP or WIP or Work in Progress. My name is Robert French and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. So as I just mentioned, WIP means Work in Progress. This is also known as REST machining. In the CAM world, this allows us to control a toolpath so it's not going places we've already cut. Sometimes we have pockets of varying size and certain end mills don't fit certain places so we add additional toolpaths. We don't want to recut what's already been cut by previous operations. And that's what work in progress allows us to control and not duplicate any kind of material removal so we save a lot of time on our machine. Now there's a few places that this option is located in the software. Uh, primarily we're going to find it in the operation parameters of various different uh, types of operations and I'll show you a couple examples of that. And I'll also show you an example where we can actually save out a work in progress from our toolpath simulation and then use that work in progress part uh, kind of as our stock for maybe a different machine or a, another set of operations in the future. So let's jump into the software and see this in action. Alright, here we are in SOLIDWORKS where we could be using either SOLIDWORKS CAM or the CAMWORKS software. And got a simple part here with a just an irregular pocket already recognized. Let's go ahead and start to program this manually by first adding a rough mill operation. You can see I've got four different tools here in my tool crib. When we're roughing out, we typically want to go with our biggest tool. It's the stiffest, it's going to hog out material the fastest, so let's go with our one inch to start. When I create that rough mill operation, got some standard settings in here. I'm happy with my allowance of 15 thou. Everything looks good. Let's just take a look at the toolpath real quick. So the problem here is these channels of this pocket are a little too small for this one inch end mill to fit down. That's not a big deal. That's fine. We're just going to have to tackle it with a different tool. We want to use our one inch though to hog out this other pocket as fast as possible. So let's stick with that for now. Let's go ahead and add another rough mill to that same feature. This time I'm going to use a slightly smaller tool. Once again, my goal, use the biggest tool possible. It's the stiffest, give me the best results, and it'll do the job the fastest. So when we create this 3 quarters inch end mill, I'm going to come in here and just turn off a couple settings like clean up pass and stay at depth. But let's take a look at the preview of the uh, toolpath. We're going a l pretty much everywhere, you know, except with the exception of these channels. The 1 inch end mill has already been in this entire large section of the pocket. Well, if I come back into the rough mill operation parameters, right here we have the option for rest machining. I'm going to set that to from work in progress. When I do that and we look at the toolpath now, it's analyzing the toolpath before itself and saying, don't go anywhere that tool was before me. Now since I have the same allowance value set, it's still finding its way into these corners because the larger end mill didn't clean them up quite as nice, but now I'm leaving a consistent 15 thou everywhere in this pocket that's now ready for a cleanup finish pass with a contour mill to come in and, and finish it off. So we'll stick with that for now. And if I were to run a simulation on this guy, I'm just going to turn this up to full speed. We hog it out and look at our compare. Obviously we just have the contour mill left to do to clean up these corners. But it's here in the simulation options that we can save WIP as STL. Once again, work in progress as an STL file. If I were to save this as an STL, I can then, in a different part file or in a different configuration, edit my stock manager to use this STL, use that STL file as my work in progress. Now this is really beneficial, say, if you're doing a part that has operations on both a lathe and a mill. You could run your lathe operations and then save out your work in progress and push that to the mill uh, file or mill configuration where you now have a very accurate stock definition and you're not having excess tool pass. And that's really the name of the game and the objective with the work in progress tool is we're not recutting features, we're not cutting air too much. We're really focusing our tool pass and, and making them efficient and as quick as possible. That's it on work in progress. Thanks for watching.